Hey guys, welcome back to Film Discover. Today we'll talk about four of the most disgusting moments caught on my feet are killing me. Part 15. Let's head into it. My feet are killing me. In January 2020, TLC premiered My Feet Are Killing Me, a reality show that gave new meaning to the phrase, putting your best foot forward. The series introduced two podiatrists, Dr. Ebony Vincent and Dr. Bat Schaefer, who according to the network's introduction, have never encountered a foot too quirky to cure. The new series, according to TLC, will follow the doctors as they tackle some of the most jaw-dropping, eye-popping foot problems ever seen on television, with Vincent on the west coast and Schaefer on the east coast. TLC president and GM Howard Lee stated, Following the premiere of Dr. Pimple Popper, it was clear that our audience wanted even more powerful and touching stories of medical transformation, promising to take viewers on emotional roller coaster trips to their happy finishes. From people with extra toes to a patient with proteus disease, formerly known as Elephant Man's Disease, My Feet Are Killing Me is about repairing feet and chasing lives. The new series made an immediate impression with roughly 2.8 million viewers tuning in for the first episode. There's a lot to learn about TLC My Feet Are Killing Me, so get ready to learn everything there is to know about this one-of-a-kind show. TLC used a unique marketing strategy to promote its new show, My Feet Are Killing Me, ahead of the first episode's premiere. During broadcasts of the other TLC programming, a gnarly-looking pixelated foot appeared at the bottom of the screen, along with the show's logo. Viewers, on the other hand, were perplexed, and many took to Twitter to express their bewilderment and, in some cases, outrage. Greetings at TLC. Remove your foot from the television corner. It irritates me a lot, says the, nat it irritates me a lot, says the narrator. One Twitter user expressed his dissatisfaction with the situation. I'm not sure who at TLC thought it would be a good idea to put his foot at the bottom of the screen, but they should be fired immediately, said one. TLC's discovery of the two hottest podiatrists in the United States wasn't enough. To show off, they needed to find all three of the hottest podiatrists. On my feet are killing me. We saw Dr. Sarah Haller assisting Dr. Brad Schaefer. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Number 4. The brother of Dr. Ebony. Dude has a crust, and like his sister, he has a model's body. He's a doctor as well, but he's never had to deal with a patient. He has a cyst, and one has to wonder why he went to his sister rather than Dr. Pimple Popper, who is far more experienced with nightmare fuel bursting from the skin. Dr. Ebony uses a needle to drain the cyst, but she doesn't completely remove the sack. Gasp, because the cyst is reappearing. TLC needs to consult with their respective doctors. Also, make sure to write your thoughts in the comment section. Number 3. Dr. Brad's Neuroma A pinched nerve is known as a neuroma, between the third and fourth toes, most of the time. Dr. Brad is in desperate need of a cortisone shot, but he despises giving them to himself. Dr. Sarah squirts cold spray on his foot, they begin to playfully bicker and the sexual tension is tolerable. He's relieved after one shot and they continue to act as if they don't belong together. Number 2. Mickey's feet aren't particularly attractive. His wife doesn't like it when he cuddles and plays footsies. She adores him, but she despises his feet. When my feet are killing me shows an extreme close-up of his toenails, I find myself agreeing with his wife. The fungus is disgusting and can be found almost anywhere. It's as if he's been soccer kicking moldy blue cheese for weeks and hasn't been washed. This case could theoretically be solved by slapping some big Mickey Mouse shoes on him and calling it a day. Dr. Brad, on the other hand, grabs a pair of toenail pilers and begins cutting before prescribing some oral medication. Number 1. Poor Heather. Check your pulse if you don't feel anything while listening to Heather's story. Her foot was burned and mangled in a car accident when she was younger, and is a total mess. Imagine the toxic Avengers brow, and you'll get the idea. Because she can't feel her foot due to nerve damage, is turned, bulged, and completely raw most of the time. The pain and blood are what brought her to see Dr. Ebony Vincent. After a quick x-ray and exam, the diagnosis of body overgrowth and asymmetrical legs was made. The operation is deadly. The first cut is in the shape of a manta ray smile, and it gets boring after that. The bone saw hammer and osteotome, a medical grade flat head screwdriver as well as a belt sander are all required. The last one was made up, she used a rasp. The x-ray is displayed on the screen and it appears that someone dumped a bucket of hardware in Lowe's first aisle. Because of how long the saw is used, there's a risk of thermally induced bone necrosis. Because her foot doesn't appear to have improved much after surgery, the orthodox shoe inserts are the most positive takeaway. What do you think about these feet are killing me moments? Which one was the best one? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen right now because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.